you guys, it's Dan, the professional bodger. Not professional at all, really. Definitely not, as you're gonna find out in this video. Uh, we're, today, we're doing a lot of cutting. We're gonna figure out what needs replacing, floor-wise. It's, it's bad, I mean, this is technically filmed at the end of the video, so trust me, it's bad, but yeah, you'll have to take my word for it and watch the rest of this video to find out. So, uh, yeah, if you don't mind, give me a like and a subscribe. Keep me G'd up to keep this thing going, and then, uh, yeah. Watch the video and then comment at the end exactly what you think of. Is this thing saveable? Hmm. So it's mega windy. You can hear a door going on the roof. Well, it doors over there. There's also a million people around. Damn school holders. So this needs to cut out here. Um, most of it isn't too bad actually. It's sort of mostly sanded on top, but so that here. I'm gonna try and patch weld these rather than do the whole floor because the rest of it isn't too bad. It just looks dirty. And then the same here. This bit's the worst. Back there is really good. Can't find any holes. Same on that side. It's minimal areas. This whole inner edge, well, the yeah, sill, as you can see. Uh, realistically, he's going to need doing the whole doorstep. Sorry. And then the sill underneath, the outer sill, is definitely gone. So that's going to be a hard thing to cut out for me. I have to figure out a way to put the car on its side a bit, maybe. Uh, so as you can see, this sill bit. I'm going to cut this out. Whoop. It's not really bright, but whatever. I'm gonna cut it out probably to about there, and then back, and then maybe down here. Just so I've got some kind of easy shapes to do. That obviously goes underneath this old like bench bit, whatever you want to call it, a cross member. Uh, it doesn't come out on this side, but I imagine when I cut the floor out or the uh, sill out underneath, I will probably see it does get that far. So look at this out still. There we go. It's actually, I mean, by the hole here. The rest of it doesn't look so bad. It's been welded here before. You see the welding work? Not the best weld, but probably about equal, if not better, than what I can do. So we're going to cut this piece out. Probably across here. Yeah, but up to here, maybe? Yeah, it probably makes sense. The doorstep itself is also rotten to shwerward, so. Yeah. Here's a bodgy plate. You see the hole here? Again, been plated before, so it probably could get on the same road. Put a little plate in here where that hole is. Hmm. That didn't even cut. Honey gloves. New problem. Gloves. Jesus. Oh, man up. Man up to hear the comments. Are. Okay, let's just cut to there. state of that so where I might find out how unfixable the car could be what is this stuff it's like literally plastic bag or something but that's looking pretty sorry for itself look at all the rust in here oh my god hey okay, give me my socket back I wonder if this has just been repaired badly before Let's look at that that's terrible I reckon I'm gonna cut it there Look at that. That's insanely bad, actually. Holy hell bells. If only a professional to look at this, whether this is even saveable. Look at the state of this. It looks probably worse than it is. Optimism. Look at that. That's just called someone's extreme bodging and not bothering to deal with it. Oh my god. Go. So that was a sill panel that someone's done. Look, oh my Christ! Look at this. Wow. And this car actually looked good underneath, but that's very rotten. Wow. When you said been double skin, see like this. Like the inner piece, isn't it? Inner still. Probably also, yeah, right. Mostly. It's probably.
probably going to be inners and outers at the least, depending on how bad that goes that way. Question is, do we cut a bit further? Yeah, probably. We're going to go up to the end of a door. God help me. <laughs> I might as well do it from above. Bother risk of fire hazards, but fuck it. Also an obvious lesson, don't buy cheap apparent 6.5 amp batteries because it just isn't. I knew it to be honest, it was 19 quid, but yeah. But we're getting progress, it's becoming a hole. So we're gonna try and do the same here. I'm probably not gonna cut all it, so I'm gonna go to about here for now for safety. Because I don't know what happens if we cut under that. Hammer time. Hey. Voila. Kinda. And I'm not professional at all, obviously, clearly. But you see, they've just welded a panel over a panel. You see that? Terrible. No wonder it got so rusty in there. So that's fresh metal there, very extremely sharp fresh metal. Uh, this inner edge where I think is a seatbelt mount as well. Great, even better. So all this outer sill, there's a seatbelt mount, look. That's actually kind of solid. Yeah, actually that's fine. Ow, that was sharp. That's probably gonna need replacing anyway, just because it's all gonna have to come off, so how much more of a sill comes off? Do any of this? Yeah, let's get them off as well. So we're gonna have to basically do that all the way to the back, over there. Um, I don't want to get too much off. I think I've already cut too much off. Probably the car's probably just gonna fold in a minute. But the roof is still intact. So as long as I leave this, this, and obviously the roof alone, it should be okay to keep cutting. I reckon. At least this piece. Like I said, the rest of the floor isn't too bad, it's just this outer bit, the inner bit, if you look, it actually looks very solid, can you see that? This part of the floor looks good, to be fair. This whole outer bit that someone's bodged is horrendous. And again, I'm going to have to get someone to, some professional, maybe another mini channel, to judge whether that's actually saveable. That, I'm guessing, is a jacking point, so it's hard to judge. It seems quite solid. Well, it's covered in dust, rust dust. There's something around it. Not so solid. But that's just this inside piece. If I cut that out like I've done that, maybe it'll be okay. <laughs> Optimism. And then obviously do the inner doorstep and then the inner sill. Yeah, we'll get. We'll seek some professional advice. I think. See what they say. Um, most people probably say scrap it, which will be sad because I don't want to, but there's only so much I can do. Yeah. Any professionals? What do you think? That's obviously the outer sill or whatever. It's pretty bad. This bit I'm more worried about. And then obviously, we got this inside piece here, which is probably worse than it looks as well. Although I do have a panel for it, but still. The rest of the floor though is actually pretty well, looks pretty good so far. Everything I've cleaned up. So yeah. Mostly the video of me cutting stuff up and uh, probably ruining it like this. Looking bad. But yeah, if you're a mini expert or you've done this job before, um, give me some advice if you don't mind. Is this saveable? I mean for you maybe, but for me, with limited welding, I'm going to be welding and we're running a wire. My house is over there, and then a wire across this road with those little rampy things that protect the wire. And then we're gonna try and hopefully weld these in. So, I need a list. Outer sills, definitely. Probably inner sills. Doorstep. I've got that inner panel and the, that panel. They are magnums, I know. Everyone hates them, but still. Um, yeah. Let me know in the comment section. Is it saveable? Should I continue? That'd be great. Um, might continue to keep cutting, maybe I'll film, but yeah, you get the idea. Let me know. Cheers. Yeah, give me a like and a subscribe and a comment, like I said, if you know. Otherwise, join me next time for probably more cutting and rust.
stuff. 